for that we need to go back to our original diagram and see this is our you remember this right all of you do this it's just a plain diagram back again real real quick we will do it It's my pit bar. Let's make it cross coupled real quick. Yeah, and this node was A, this node was B. So now what we have done is we have written a zero at B. How did we do that? By making N4 stronger than P2. Once there is a zero written at B, this zero is going as an input here and this zero will ensure that P1 turns on and A will be pulled to logic one. So A which was initially at zero now loses its zero and changes to one because of B which we wrote as zero. So in summary, what we understood because the circuit is completely symmetric is for read and write stability, how do we size our transistors? Remember the circuit is symmetric. Yes, circuit is symmetric. That's, that is the trick which you need to remember. That W by L of NMOS transistors should be greater than, in this case NMOS transistors are nothing but N1 or N2, should be greater than W by L of pass transistors or excess transistors. Remember N3 and N4 are called pass or excess transistors. In this case, W by L of NMOS for read we saw N1 or N2, N1 or N2 should be greater than W by L of N3 or N4 in this case. N turn should be greater than W by L of P MOS. In this case, P1 or P2. So with that, we complete the read and the write stability criteria for a six transistor SRAM. Thank you and stay tuned.